Hey guys, welcome to my channel My Little Home Garden. In this video, I'm going to say you about top 10 must-have plants in your home garden. So let's get into the video without any delay. Hello everyone, happy Dashara and happy Diwali in advance to all my friends. So let's get into the video without any delay. So my name is Ananya Valuri and welcome to my channel My Little Home Garden. And in this video, I'm going to say you top 10 must have plants in your home garden. So these are the plants that you must have in your home garden. They are really, really beneficial. They are very beneficial in your home garden. garden. But when I talk about some areas that, you know, direct soil is not available, they keep in container gardening. So when you uh, talk about terrace gardening and container gardening, it's a bit... You know it needs some effort so with a little effort you can keep them even in your terrace garden even if you don't have that new space as home garden so let's get started for the first plant so first plant is sugarcane now sugarcane is used to make sugar and used to drink juice you know you sugarcane juice but adding it's not only for drinking sugarcane juice or making sugar, but it had many other benefits other than this. You know, when we see it, it's really beautiful. It act, it's like a show plant. When you see a show plant, it's looking very beautiful, even though it don't have any use. But this sugarcane, despite looking beautiful, has many uses. It we can make sugar cane juice out of it when in large scale but it looks very beautiful and superb so in my next video i'm going to say about how to grow sugar cane even in your residential areas with stem and you can get sugar cane stem very easily which i will post in my next video so when coming to sugar cane it is very superb when we see it it's like a stylish plant so sugarcane and the next plant um, is of corn when i say corn it have has two benefits one is we would get sweet corn without any chemicals nowadays they are using many chemicals so that the plant would flower faster more yield and it ensures that every single flower develops into a corn which is not possible Sometimes some flowers don't develop then they give medicine, they give pest, they give pesticide, insecticide and everything to the plant and we get a chemical full corn. So to avoid this you can grow a corn plant at home you can get easily. You can get corn seeds up to 30 to 40 seeds in just 10 to 20 rupees. I would say it in my next video so stay tuned. So coming to corn plant, it is also a stylish plant. When we see it, it looks really, really beautiful. It enhances the look of our garden. And when coming to container gardening, in container gardening, we don't have that big trees. But when coming to corn, it we can grow this corn plant in even a small sized container so that the people in apartment and other small residential areas can also grow it without any problem for space and it really really looks beautiful and you, you know we get this tasty tasty fresh corn for that and the third plant is lavender now these are style plants but this lavender has many many more benefits so Lavender plants produce dark violet flowers. All the lavender types produce dark violet flowers, which have many, many medicinal values and value in the market also. So, in ancient times, these lavender flowers are used for dye. These lavender flowers, when crushed, release a dye which is in lavender color and has a great demand and had a great demand in ancient times in ancient times this is used as a dye to color the saris or color any fabric 
which was really really in great demand and the medicinal values of this plant is the aroma coming from these flowers that means when the flowers are crushed and the oil is taken from that then that is called lavender oil and the smell the aroma from this lavender oil treats sleeping sickness if you suffer from sleeping sickness then this lavender essential oil helps them a lot even when we smell a lavender slightly it helps treat anxiety this lavender essential oil when we suffer from sleeping problem this lavender essential oil when put on someone pillow and when even diffused into air really really treats sleeping sickness and even anxiety a little amount of this lavender when diffused into air by aroma diffusers then it also helps dogs so even it is very very good for dog owners when our dog deals with separation anxiety or any kind of anxiety then if we it's important that we should see the quantity the quantity should be very less regarding dogs when we use it for dogs then put very very less quantity of this lavender essential oil and diffuse it into your your dog will just you know thank you it really deals separation anxiety and many other anxieties even in dogs and even for people for people it also deals with sleeping sickness it cures sleeping sickness and this is a good dye and when we see it the smell is really good and when we see it it cools our mind the shape of the, the shape and color of that particular flower and we can also just get that color by at home by crushing this lavender and we would get lavender color and the lavender color is really really beautiful so that's the specialty of lavender and this is a must have in your home the next is snake plant so snake plant is very very not must have but essential and important because this snake plant not only purifies air but also repels snakes so when the snake plant is at a home then at a distance of 1 meter it removes formaldehyde so what is formaldehyde it is a very very dangerous chemical released from uh, many you know fat trees and all this is a dangerous chemical in the air this is called formaldehyde and this particular snake plant It removes formaldehyde and other many more pollutants from air and cleans air. Not only that, it repels the snake. The snakes just don't like this the shape of the snake plant. They just get repelled. So when uh, we have a big gardens, there is a you know there is a threat of snakes. In my next video, I would say about how to repel snakes in your garden. So use the snake plant. Keep them in your boundaries and the places where snakes come. That would repel snakes. Coming to periwinkle, many think that it is a weed, but it is not. It's really, really good plant. So it is available in many colors, and the dark pink color is I like the most. There are two pink, you know, the light one and the dark one. It's like a red color, but it's dark pink. slightly white in the middle and it's an anti cancer in the leaves of this periwinkle plant we have a special chemical that is an anti cancer it helps to cure cancer coming to vegetables chili is the essential in your home garden because when i say chili okay what's there in that but no when i say chili chili is used in all all most of all the dishes in india so chili is used in every dish almost all every dish in india so if there are two to three chili plants in our home then it really helps a lot because because the chilies outside 
doesn't give any guarantee that they would be spicy, they would be quality, or they would be good, or they are hygienic. They may be grown from chemicals, they may be, you know, they may be stored in dirty go-downs, who knows. But when we have even two chili plants, then it even each chili plant when healthy can produce 10 to 12 chilies so it really helps in our kitchen garden next plant is banana now banana is very very important essential and as well as must have in our home garden when we don't have space when we are in apartments then we can grow banana in sand beds Sandbirds are available online or we can just make or, or we can just buy it from buy it or we can just give an order to our local stores which make cement pots. So in sandbirds they are grown really they can be grown really well. When we are like I wanna eat a good I want to eat a good fruit then readily available from the plant fresh one without any pesticide without any dirty medicine we can use this and coming to bananas leaf eating in eating in eating on bananas leaf using it as a plate is really really good now as we know banana recognizes poison when some unhealthy food item you know when some poisonous food item is kept on banana leaf it shows it you know it recognizes that with some color change in that leaf you can really observe it by hot items so when we put really hot item it turns black same reaction happens when we keep poison poisonous food on that banana leaf it recognize that and not only this not only this character but it also adds essential it also adds some important nutrients to that when we talk about bananas leaf it has many properties first of all in our tradition especially in hindu tradition it is used as a plate it is said that when we eat on banana's plate, I mean banana's leaf as a plate, it, you know, it recognizes, first of all, it identifies, it helps us to identify poisonous food. This shows its medicinal properties. When we eat on banana's, you know, banana's leaf, it first of all uh, helps us avoid aluminum, which is not, good for us when we eat on that when we eat on aluminium it really lowers the medicinal qualities it really lower the nutrient value in our food but when we see in banana leaf it really magnifies it really magnifies the nutrient value in our food and one more fact for the day is that when we cook in direct sunlight i mean when cooking process is done then the direct sunlight should fall in that it kills the microbes which are harmful for us My in our preference is keep all the types each plant keep all the types at your home each plant each type and so the and so the next type is watermelon next plant is watermelon now in summer watermelon is really really helpful to us but keeping it in rainy season makes it grow until summer and when we talk about watermelon nowadays watermelon are given injections if they are dirty from outer side, they are dipped into wax and they are given injection so that the white color in that turns red before the time, which is very dangerous. But when we grow it our home, grow, grow it in our home, they are really hygienic without pesticides, insect, insecticides, which is really really 
good and which is really really good and nutritious for us healthy for us so when we talk about you know when we talk about watermelon it is a good fruit to eat in summer it has high medicinal values and it you know it lowers the risk of the harmful effects of sunlight the heat to our body this effect is lowered by watermelon we don't know that or you know that effect when heat is really really more we feel stomach pain many times this doesn't happen when we eat watermelon daily afternoon and it is also like a chill time to us in the evenings and watermelon juice is really the next plant is spinach now spinach in very less area it grows well and it needs you know it needs area you know surface area more than depth so when choosing a pot for that the depth area should doesn't matter this much depth is enough for spinach but the you know width should be more the surface the soil is facing up is should be really more for spinach and spinach has good uh, vitamins in that it is a green leafy vegetable it's good for our eyes it's also very very tasty it's also very very tasty when it's used for a dal and the famous recipe paneer it's used with paneer it's very very tasty with palak paneer and if taken in large quantities spinach is very very good for our eyes and it also has vitamin e and a in that so it's must have in our kitchen garden and the next plant is got snake god bottle god cucumber cucumber and many other plants like this really help so in kitchen garden this is also a must have when we have even a single plant of this type like even a single plant of cucumber it gives us when healthy when healthy it gives us two gods for a day take let's take bottle god a day we can get many if in if a small plant for seventh flower it eight flowers for the seventh flower it gives us female flower and we should plug that female flower and on that next after seventh flower when we plug the seventh flower after that it really flowers well it really grows well and subscribe to my channel if you're new and there is another channel of my pet that is bunny now in that in that channel i say all about dogs so visit it if you are a pet owner too